I grew up in Punta Hermosa. It's a little beach town 45 minutes away from Lima, that is the capital of Peru. I've always lived in front of the ocean and my family are addicted to the ocean too. It's been in my blood always, so yeah, since I was really young, me and my brothers used to go out and that's how I started surfing. I'm an obsessed person sometimes. When I really like something, I, I don't stop. To win the world title in 2004, the ASP world title was like a dream come, come true for me. Since I was really young, I watched Liz Anderson and Kelly Slater. And I was competing against my idols and all these women I've always admired. Sophia, she was sort of like the start of the new generation that came through. Um, you know, obviously there was Lisa Anderson and, and Lane. She was one of the first girl surfers that, to me, like stood out. Like her style was a little bit tomboy. She was really progressive, so obviously she influenced me to want to surf like that. I always looked up to her since I was a little girl, and even when I got on the tour, she she was always just one of the best, most composed competitors. She was the first surfer to crack that uh, dominations that the Australian, uh, the American, the Hawaiian women had. I think she changed the way that people look at, you know, South American surfers. She became a sports icon uh, never seen before in South America within the surfing realm. She's being treated like royalty. Winning that for my country, for my family, and for people to believe in surfing in Peru was, was amazing for me. Yeah. My dream come true. <laughs> I still love surfing, you know, I still love competing, but I don't know, I was not getting fulfilled by it anymore. I kind of felt like I was stuck in the past a little bit. I just decided I needed to focus on other things. I felt that stage of my life was already done. has amazing waves. All these years on tour, I've learned a lot, a lot of things. I feel I need to transmit all this knowledge to the next generation of Peruvian surfers and Latin surfers. I think that's, that's my job. I want to give that support back and support all these talented kids uh, that are out there in Peru. Proyecto Sofia Munanovic is a youth high performance surf academy. So this is the house of the project. Uh, it's the academy house. It's almost ready, but I want to show you around. <laughs> well, we're going to be choosing 10 kids. They all have to be talented in the sport of surfing. We're really excited to, to watch them surf and uh, identify some talent. Hopefully, it's a great day. The aim will be to have champions coming out of the program, but for me, before champions, I want them to be good persons. I think some of the kids that are going to be part of the program are going to be kids that come from really poor social backgrounds, and this is the first time they're giving an opportunity to, to succeed. Observa dónde están, dónde están reventando las olas. I want my program to be a challenge for me too because I want these kids to grow with me, you know. You know, I want them to, to go maybe through rough times with me too, you know, and be able to know that everything is a challenge in life. It's an opportunity for them and it's up to them if they take it or not. She was one of the first girl surfers that, to me, like stood out. Like her style was a little bit tomboy. She was really progressive, so obviously she influenced me to want to surf like that. 